Welcome to my YouTube channel Nobly Creative Digital Marketing Agency. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing great. Um, welcome to noblecreative.net. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Noble, Noble Creative Digital Marketing Agency. So in this video, I'll be teaching you how to design a social flyer, a burger social flyer. So without wasting much of your time. So the first thing is to bring out my um my background color. As you sure, you click on the three dot button. You click your use image from gallery. Then you click on the image you want to use, and this is the my and this is the gallery I want to use. So you click here, okay. So the first thing now is to delete this one. The next thing is to change the image size to 1280. 1280. Good. So the next thing you have to do now is that's wasting much of our time is to bring out from gallery. So is to bring out this image of the burger image that we are going to use. So I use this one. Good. So you guys to place it here, then place it at the middle. Make sure it's at the middle. Good. So the next thing I write, I write my super, write your test, but your, you write your super, super. Then you give it font, Sacramento font. Good. You can drag it here. Then you press it like this. So the next thing is to bring it under font. Then you give it. Uh, what did I even write here? Let me think. Super delicious. Good. So write your delicious. Sorry. Delicious. So you write your delicious. You write it here. You actually also do it like this. Then you place it here. You can make it. Smaller a little bit, then you change the font color to this. This one is in Pixel Lab Bogalo regular. Sorry, change to Bogalo regular. Good, can you see it? So the next thing now is to write your burger. Burger in calculator. Good. So this is the burger. Well, I'm going to give it another font. So the font I'm going to give it, I'm giving it um what's the font I give to it that give the burger. I don't really, okay, this is the font. Montago. You can actually download this from the font.com or font.google.com. So this is it good then you can actually bring it to a little big good then you can bring it down a little bit then you give it color this image color and this is the color formula or the color test as you sure so the next thing is to bring out this make it small a little bit press it here so the next thing is to bring out the shape click on your shapes Change this one to radius. Good. Then reduce the opacity to zero. Then look for your stroke. Increase the stroke to six or four. You can actually give it this color. Good. So the next thing is to play this one here. Good. So the next thing you are going to bring out, you are going to bring out um another shape. Give it another stroke. Good. Good. So under you can duplicate it, then put it here again. You can actually move this one a little bit upward. Good. So this one. So this one. So this one. Good. So you can move this one a little bit upward. So good. That's what I want to do. So um the next thing 
we are going to bring out is another shape and this is the shape exactly this is the shape i'm using i'm using this then you do this opacity then you give another stroke like four or seven good then you give it under this then you place it here you make it small a little bit then you place it here can you see we are making sense good so the next thing now is to bring out all the things you want to write here so first let's start from the sticker so the sticker you're going to bring out sticker press here and click on sticker so you're going to see this then look for this and if you are using the old model pixel lab you can get this sticker just click on your arrow on cleanplg.com to find the arrow good so what i'm going to write again you click on delicious you duplicate it then you write order now then turn it good then turn it to black change the color to black sorry good so the next thing we are going to write here we're going to bring out you can click on your super super duplicate it then you write um save 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 right save right 50 percent of 57 percent good then you can give make it a little bit this is um the size then give it color change the color to this then place it here you can still reduce the size a little bit good save right 50 percent so the next thing now is to bring out um, I what I want to write it down at the dance side. So I should bring out my WhatsApp contact. My sorry, my WhatsApp icon. Okay, I want to bring out this one. So let me bring out this one. I saw this one first. So let me bring it. So I'm going to add this one a little first. Edit first. Click. I want to use this okay let me use this let's put it here this one going to be here then give it color white good so we are still looking for our whatsapp icon <laughs> before i've seen that so this is the whatsapp icon so you put it here You can zoom your work so that you can make it a, a, a little bit smaller. Zoom it. Good. Then you change the color. You change the color. You change it to this. Good. Then you can zoom it again. Click on this one. Duplicate it, then write your your number. Then change the color to this. So I want to see how it is now. Good, it's big. It's big. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to reduce the size. Good, and I'm going to make this one. Good. Then place this one at the middle. Good. So this is what I want. So this one should go a little bit here. 
this one also should go a little bit here good so the next i'm going to bring i'm going to bring on the shape you can actually zoom it to get what you want Then change the color to this. Good. Then place down. Then you can actually zoom it back to see what you are doing. So good. So place it down here. Position it to come down. Good. So the next thing is to bring out our uh, another thing that you also add there. So I like to add my own um, Twitter account there. I love using my Twitter icon there because I love it. You can actually choose yours. make sure they are the same size change the color also to this then you can use the position key to drag it down good so the next thing is to duplicate this one then write your your name there And they are not aligned so we are going to make it aligned together so this what you need to do you need to bring your your um your grid out so you place it here good this one they align so remain the test that they are not aligned so i will click on this one click on the test and make sure they are aligned together Yeah. so can you see it so the next thing now is to bring out this my um web icon can actually zoom it to know what you are doing good it is black already but let me see if it's black color a very much background so you can show yeah good make sure it's at the center of this good so the next thing now this is your other now you can click it duplicate it then you write your noble creative dot net good so that's my website so you can actually good can you see it that it has making a lot of sense so we have done this in the less than in less than just 13 minutes it's not even it didn't take time so it's not taking our time so i think this is how you can actually make your social media flyer for burger i think you can actually do your so i'll be showing you guys the material if you see the materials on the link um, on the dark side of the well, of the um of the YouTube channel, so you can actually do yours. And um, please do yours. Give credit to the corner. These are I do my things. Thank you. I wish you best of luck.